you want to track your crypto with a completely free tracker that looks like this? Well, you've come to the right place. Hey, what's going on guys? Adam here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm showing you how to use my free automatic portfolio tracker. This is perfect if you're a nerd like me who loves knowing exactly what's going on with their investment. It's important to know how much your holdings dip the day after you buy in, every time, man. To use it, you will need a Google account to access Google Drive, which you probably already have, a free CoinMarketCap Pro account, which I will show you how to get, and to track the subscribe button, all of which are quick and free, and you can always undo it later. I'll also show you how to use the tracker as well, since there are a few things that you will need to set up for yourself. It can also track stocks, so if you wanna learn about that, I made a separate video, which I'll link up here and down below. If there are any features that you want me to add, please let me know. A lot of the upgrades have come from your suggestions. All right, let's get into it. The first thing you need to do is create a copy of the tracker, which you can do by clicking File and Make a Copy. This will save it to your Google Drive so that you can start making edits. You don't need to request any access, just make a copy. The first sheet you'll see is the setup. This is where you put your API key, which we will talk about later, and also contains general settings for the sheet. For now, it's just the fiat currency, which you can change by typing the symbol into the black box. So I'm working with US dollars, so USD, but if you are Canadian, for example, you can type CAD and see the conversion yourself. If I add more settings in the future, you can change them the same way here. All right, so now we can get to the fun stuff in the portfolio tab. The only columns you will have to touch are A, B, and I to calculate the profit, as well as N and O to track where it is and when you bought it. So like Galbino, but without the L. First up, in column A, you should enter in the symbols of the crypto you earn. You can see here that I have filled this out with the big guys like Bitcoin and Ethereum, but also some smaller ones like Polygon Matic and Harmony One. You can overwrite these to make it your own and add more to the bottom. If you want to rearrange things because your OCD needs it to be in a specific order, trust me, very familiar with that, you can click and drag rows around. If you want to add a row in the middle, just right click on a normal row with a symbol, so not the headers, and choose insert row below. To bring in all the formulas, right click any row number and click copy, then click the newly inserted row and click paste. There's other ways to do this, but this is the fastest way. And to delete a row, just right click it and select delete. If you wanna track multiple positions, you can enter them like I did here with Ethereum. Don't put too many down or it will get confusing and eat up your API key limit. More on that in a sec. To help with this, use the Google Finance function to get the price for the large crypto like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin, which I've already done here. Enter the symbols for each crypto you want to track in column A, then the next thing you'll need to do is enter the amount you own for each in column B, like one Bitcoin or one Ethereum. Pretty straightforward up to this point. Then for each symbol, you can enter the total cost basis, including fees in column I. This will differ depending on where you bought it, but I'll show you how to do it on my main trading platform, Gemini. I'm not sponsored by them or anyone else for that matter, even though I've gotten a lot of offers, but they're just a really solid platform and you should definitely check them out. All right, so go into your portfolio, pick the crypto that you bought, scroll down to the bottom and hit transaction history, and it tells you all of the info that you need. That's it. So easy a caveman can do it. What? <laughs> Not cool. After this, you can enter the platform in column N like Celsius, Voyager, or even a wallet address like this one here. <coughs> this will help you to stay diversified across platforms. Finally, you can put the purchase date in column O, which is used to tell you if it is a short or long-term position. So up to this point, the tracker is now fully functional, except for one very important thing. We're missing the price data. To get that, the last thing we need to do is get a CoinMarketCap API key and put it into the setup tab. I put a link to it in the description as well as here in the tracker itself. This is the best free service that supports pretty much every crypto that you can buy that I found, but if we find another that is better, I can switch to it later. So click the link which takes you to this page. Enter your email, name, a password, 
make sure the plan is set to basic and click create my account. After that, you're in and the dashboard will look something like this. You can check your API key limit here, but more on that in a sec. You should see your API key, so just mouse over and click copy key. Head back to the setup tab in the tracker, double click the cell and paste this value into the box. Just pasting over the cell itself will erase the fancy formatting on it, so make sure that you double click or use the formula bar at the top. And that's it, that's all you need to do. The rest will be automatically calculated for you. Quick heads up about the free CoinMarketCap account. Since this is free, the amount that you can use it is kinda limited. Ain't no such thing as a free lunch, you know? If you start seeing a bunch of zeros for your price data, all your coins dumped and went to zero. Nah, nah, I'm just kidding. It probably just means that you hit your monthly limit. Like I mentioned earlier, you can check this by looking at your dashboard, which will tell you how much you've used and how much you have left. There's a couple workarounds that you can do if you've maxed out your limit, but there are only two good options. The first is to create another free account, repeating the process that I showed, but with a different email address this time. So you can rewind it back to the beginning of this section if you want to follow along again and get as many as you need. You can keep all the API keys you've generated right here in this part of the setup tab. Then to rotate them out, you can copy and paste over a fresh one when you hit that monthly limit. The second option is if we get enough people on Patreon, I'll buy an unlimited API key for us to use there so you don't have to worry about maxing it out. But the tracker itself will always remain free. The first option is your best bet if you need it to be totally free, but if you don't mind dropping a few bucks, the Patreon option will be better. After you've done everything up to this point in the video, you're finally ready to take a look at the results. Let's take a look at the portfolio tab first, which calculates info about your crypto's value, cost basis, and profit. The totals are listed in the black line at the top. You might notice that the spark lines are empty, I could not find a free API that supports most crypto that also provides Sparkline data for free, so I left a placeholder. This is a feature that I will add if we get enough people on Patreon so we can get that upgraded coin market cap key, which gives us access to that data. You can use the free one from Nomics on the setup sheet, but it doesn't really work that well and you have to do it one at a time and that's just no fun. Getting an upgraded API key is our best bet and it'll only take about 50 of you guys on Patreon to make this happen. And of course, I'm going to pump everything from it into that API key for you. Besides the spark lines, the rest of the tracker works entirely for free. At the end of the sheet, you have extra details about the fiat rate, platform, purchase date, and the portfolio weighting. Moving on to the crypto diversity analysis, you can check out how much of your portfolio you have in each crypto and each platform. The left chart represents the market value breakdown per coin and the right chart represents the market value breakdown per platform. You can use these to balance your portfolio as you see fit. So that's it, welcome to your shiny new crypto portfolio tracker. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I will definitely help out. Also, let me know if you want to see any features added. I'm totally open to your suggestions and I've actually added a bunch from your requests already. Again, check out my Patreon if you want your cool looking spark lines. I hope this helps you track and manage your crypto investments. It gets pretty crazy, so having something like this is very useful. Let's make this the best tracker out there and spread the word. Have an awesome rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.